Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. Welcome back. And today, Warren Dota released a new update, a new revision of the artifact system, added something new uh, to the star levels and um, have a new system called the rank system. So let's have a look at today's update notes and then we will go through them one by one. So first of all, in this update, what they did was basically reducing the number of artifact fragments that you require to actually fuse an artifact for the first time. So 40 fragments was required before, now it's only 20 and it's for all different levels of artifacts like blue, purple, orange, regardless of the color. And then in the update itself, there is a system revision for artifacts. So first of all, they reduce the number of artifact fragments who could be fused. And then the second part of that is like they added a rank development method to the current uh, star level progression. And this is only for orange artifacts. You don't get the same benefits for blue or purple. I actually thought this would be helpful for now using the, the extra artifact fragments that you already have accumulating for your purple and blue artifacts that some of them are max, maxed out already and they are just sitting there being kind of like a waste. However, so far they are only doing it for orange artifacts. And let's have a closer look at what this actually means. What exactly is this rank development for artifacts? And actually, I also have perfectly in timing one artifact that you can actually see when we are re increasing the rank of it. But first, when you go into the refine for an or orange artifact, you will see that there are different stars. And now from the fifth star, if you look at it, there is a five star rank one. And you can see also which stat of that artifact is now getting boosted if you go for the next rank. So like let's here, if you if you look at it, like you can see actually the stats bonuses and there there's a new cavalry attack and then two star four lead rank one. So there's only really one rank level between the second and third stars. And when you do it, what's good about this system itself, like okay, there are different ranks for it. And then each time you upgrade it to the next rank you don't require all the artifact fragments at once like before. That's the main advantage of the system change right now, especially for orange artifacts, which are super difficult to get. This is really useful for non-spenders and also people who spend very little amount of money in the game so they can actually um, <clears throat> enjoy some of the stats that you would otherwise get only when you ad ad um, increase the artifact star level in the past. So for example, in this, in my case, for the sixth star for Excalibur, we used to need 720 fragments at once. And then all of these earlier stats, except the last one, the artifact skill itself, uh, sorry, the, the last one, which is um, the troops damage would have been only increasing once you are upgraded completely. Now, you can actually see you only need 140 fragments for the next rank for the fifth star. And in the case of an orange artifact with uh, six stars, you would need five rank upgrades to, to reach that sixth star. The only, only confusion here or only doubt that I have right now is whether there is any change in the number of artifact fragments required in total. Like they say in the update here that um, when you're refining it, you actually don't need extra artifact fragments. It's just the same number. They're just adding a separate rank system in between so that we are getting the, the stat bonuses earlier than before, which is quite good in my opinion. So we will see how many of these artifact fragments we will require. In this case, for this artifact of mine, I actually have enough fragments for it to go to the rank one in its third star that will actually give me another 1.5% of mage attack increase. And then as we see, there are only two stats before the next star level is going in. So there is only two star ranks as well before we get to the fourth star. So let's go rank up and it's only 93 fragments. Let's keep in mind that for from level three to level four, the number of fragments required is 280. So now we have 93 uh, the already there, so we will increase it. And there it is, I'm just gonna share it to the Alliance. And then, now you can see you only need another 993 for the next rank. That would mean it's actually then total of 186 
uh, artifact fragments already that we will use when we are, are going to the next uh, star rank and then there is another um, 94 remaining in terms of artifact fragments which will be then required to actually go into the fourth star so actually from the looks of it you don't need extra fragments it's the same and you can also see here three one that's uh, on top that you can see also as a part of your rank up and which is really good in my opinion at least for the orange artifacts which are super difficult for us to obtain uh, fragment wise it's super useful for us non-spenders to get some extra stats earlier in the game itself without waiting for all the fragments and then when you go into the second part of the update itself they added some decoration guides and ui uh, improvements which basically is about the the sky in the garden the garden in the sky um, building where in the guide itself they added a couple more buildings that you can get from upcoming events probably and if it is anything like before it's only about spending money for you for for you to get them which is not good in my opinion for these extra stats that are super good as you can see there is also a new building building like a castle in the sky and then an exotic charm then there's a scenic platform and crystal light these are the new ones when you click on them you can actually see what are they useful for and of course uh, they would be having different stats and then based on what they are good for if you spend money in the game you will be able to buy them in the next event and i really hope that this this particular system also changes and that we are able to get them as rewards for an event without spending too much money or no money at all just for our time this would be really nice otherwise the gap between the spenders and non-spenders will keep increasing I hope War and Order will consider this and that they would bring out decent updates and actually this new update about the artifact revision itself, I think it's a good step towards utilizing more of these um, artifacts for everyone, especially when the difficulty in getting orange fragments and also uh, the fragments for the artifact itself is getting more and more difficult, especially as the star numbers go higher. So this is a good step towards it. Let's hope that it continues and that they will find ways to actually let us use our unused artifact fragments for something good as well so that it becomes quite decent and more balanced than what it is now. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoy the video. Hope you are having fun with the new change in the system of artifacts and see you all in another video. Goodbye, guys.